Ginger, uh, I need to read through something and see if there's anything I can give you as clues or anything like that. This is a live active camp. It's just difficult to, to move all of the pieces, um, you know, but they're so much fun to move. As you all make your way through the camp, you're doing it without anybody really questioning you or giving you double takes. So let's see, you already know in the middle of the dig site is the expedition leader's extremely colorful tent. Um, just outside this tent, let me, let me make sure that this, oh, okay. What were the grain cellars of the Stevens farm about an hour into your skulking about in the camp? You haven't gotten that far yet. Okay, so, um, so you you're you're just kind of looking around for things. Um, for Rios and Andon, and for um, uh, Artorius and uh, once you get in, is that what you, what you want to do, uh, Rios? Is get into the camp? Yeah. Okay. Now are. Uh, for the four of you who are getting into the camp, are you automatically going straight for the tent, or are you going to skulk about a bit? I'm going to try to go straight for the tent, to be honest. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of moving around because. I, I'm going to move you for a minute. Um, oh? Yes. Uh, let's see. You guys are going to get down there. Uh, Chris and uh, Artorius, are you pretty much going straight for the tent? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, we are. We're just kind of like, you know, just trying to act like we're not, but just kind of slowly making our way there. Okay. Yeah. Trying to not draw suspicion. So, for the two of you, and you can turn your characters as you need, uh, uh, Peaches, I will get with you in just a moment. Um, so, for the two of you, the four of you, you're skulking about trying to check out security. Uh, you notice this shock trooper, this shock trooper, and this shock trooper keep going back and forth uh, between here, here here and here okay I'm gonna leave him there uh, and then this one kind of works around the back side of the tent okay um, mushrooms yeah um, so the okay Chris and Artorius you skulk about enough while you, and while you're waiting uh, or while you're doing so you notice Two of your friends come into view. Oh, and Captain Ahmedi isn't there anymore. Um, uh, he's around other parts of the camp. Surveying the area. Uh, yeah, he's, he's walking around, surveying his troops, everything like that. Um, he's messing around with, with uh, uh, don't think me sexist, but he's messing around with quite a few of the, the female jacots. Um, the... The, the laws, the world laws of the living land are playing on everyone, even if this is right now a Nile dominant area, okay? Mm. So, there's a whole bunch of sexy going on. Um, <laughs> so... I'm married, I'm married, I'm married, I'm married! <laughs> so, uh, let me kind of do this. Okay, Peaches... Please give me a single stealth test. Who gives me an idea? No. <laughs> stealth test, just the normal, usual, no? Uh, a, a normal, usual 10. Okay, that's a 6. Okay, uh, I'm going to spend on this. And let, let's see, what are my cards? You, yeah, look at your cards first, because you're, 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 you've spent two possibilities in like a half an hour. I know that's, that's that's absurd, really, uh, or a lot anyway. Um, but I don't have anything that's a plus three for a skill I need, so possibility it is. Okay, you want me to reduce it, or do you want to? Can someone help? Supporter? Anybody? Yeah. Does anybody have a supporter card? Would that I help? Have a supporter first of all? card, yeah. Wait, would that help me first of all? 
Um, uh, oh, hold on. 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah. Yeah, it would. All right. So should I go ahead and play it? We have to trade. We're not in no, combat. No, 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 no. A supporter card is played by the individual that has it on behalf of another individual. So, so what do Rios, you do? Rios could play it, um, and then uh, and then that benefits you. Yeah. So she starts hacking and coughing, and and Don gives him her helpful pat on the back, and uh, everybody turns to look like, "Are you okay?" And I dash for it. Basically, yeah. <laughs> um, so. Would you be so kind as to play the supporter card? There you go. Now, go ahead and, well, I'll, yeah, you can go ahead and your plus three card. Okay, that gives you an 11, which is just enough for you to be able to make it. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I forgot to ask something. Uh, let me do that. Okay, uh, Ginger, which of the three trucks uh, are you interested in going to? This one right here. The one on the I'm inside not, of the not. camp? Are you sure? This one? Yeah. Okay, well, okay well, look look at the map. It, look at the map the real quick. It is the closest to me, right? It's the closest to you, but you also got four guards in your way, and one working on this truck, and one working on this truck. So that guard is working on that truck. Now, if you've looked toward the top of the map, what do you see? Bushes and shrubs. Uh -huh. I, I could probably come around to this one, right? You, I was, I was thinking either this one, or it, it might be a little bit more difficult to get to this one. Oh wait a minute, I gotta move that one too to get my freaking guard. Ah. <laughs> um. So, so uh, maybe I can get under, hide this away. So. I, I'm, I'm thinking that's what the stealth check is for. Now, do you want to hide up here in the trees or down underneath the vehicle? Damn it. Um, <laughs> I did it again. I, I think I'll, I'll hide in the trees um, until I um, it, it, until such a distraction comes where I can make a run for it. Okay. All right. Fair enough. I, I'm just going to put this guy right here. So... <laughs> But this shock trooper right here is actually working under the in, under the hood of this truck, okay? And just like this shock trooper uh, sitting on the truck is working underneath it, okay? So, your gingerness, oh. I'm moving you right about there. I, of course, you're not going straight through there. Yeah. You, you had to make your way around through yeah, the jungle. I over the course of time that everybody was moving towards Wuhan's circus tent. Precisely. Huh? Yes, precisely. Precisely. Wait a minute. Why did he show up again? That's weird. He's not supposed to show up again. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. And the plot moves on without you. Yes. Yes, the plot moves on <laughs> without me. Um, okay. So, about the time y'all are getting into place, um, you hear, and actually this is relevant this time, you hear Captain Achmedi, uh he actually walks in front of the two of you, uh, well, between the four of you, and, he's, and here's how it goes. Achmedi barks, Wuhan, again you have endangered our mission. What is this? For anyone looking, he holds out a yellowed sheet of rice paper attached to a small shiny square that is shaded but see-through enough to recognize characters from some language contained therein. And then you have Wuhan come out. Oop. Where? Now, wait a minute. Why can't he see Achmedi? There he is. Okay. And uh, enough to recognize characters from some language. Uh... And then Wuhan says, You are under my control and command, Captain, and this is none of your concern. If you would like to keep your command, I suggest you lower. And then Achmedi interrupts the overgovernor, his voice climbing an octave as he explains, This deal you have made with the man from Kanawa, this Gabian named Tokanda, jeopardizes the Pharaoh's mission here. You have placed a death sentence on my men and I because of your arrogance. 
Wuhan takes a deep breath and explains, The only idiot I see here is you. We will soon have the remaining tiles, Captain, and then you are welcome to return to our pharaoh and report my perfidy. Ooh, our, spicy. Spicy. Um, <laughs> uh, think of the stereotypical Chinese assassin in pulp stories, and uh, in pulp movies and shows, and how they sounded. Okay? Very high-pitched, very, very, you know, just direct. Uh, let's see. Achmedi, visibly flustered at being stonewalled, certainly ha as has happened several times before, has decided the argument is not done yet. We would have been out of this filthy reality yesterday had we not been chasing this deal you have made. This time Wuhan interrupts, explaining, If you are bothered by the axioms of the living land, Achmedi, I'm certain the pharaoh would be happy to strip some of your possibility energy away to allow you to adjust more easily. The threat is not wasted on Captain Achmedi, who swallows and stares bullets into Wuhan, then turns to take a whip to a few slaves whom he deems are not working quickly enough while he yells Arabic epithets at them, that, uh, the situation and the impossible time he is having in the living land. Living land. Living land. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I gotta turn him around. So Achmedi has walked away and turned away. I, I'm yeah, and runs over here to whip some slaves. <clears throat> Oops. And basically lick his pride. And lick his pride. That's right. So as Achmedi is walking away, and as Wu Han is turning to re-enter his tent. Up. Oh, stop. Stop. Um. you see, or m more to the point, uh, Rios and Anden, it would be to your right, and um, Artorius and Chris, you can only hear the cheer, but um, coming from, well, from this direction, basically. Okay? You hear uh, cheers go up from several of the Jakots over here, um, and Captain Achmedi himself is is he basically gives out a cheer, a, a whoop, if you will. Did he do that before? No, he did not, because there was only one tile. But uh, shock troop, Jakot, Jakot, <clears throat> shock troop. Okay. So, th there are, okay, f this is hard, kind of hard to explain because Artorius and Chris can't see it. And, of course, Chris has turned the opposite direction anyway, as is Rios and Andon. You guys can turn and, uh, Rios, I'm going to turn you. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, gotcha. Oh. As you turn... <laughs> Boy, stroke time. <laughs> as, as you turn, you see um, three Jakots. This one, this one, and this one. This one. Hello. He is not allowing me to Jakot him. Uh, and the, <laughs> these two shock troops reacting to the Jakots' sudden movements um, almost throw these tiles into Captain Achmedi's hands. Okay? And Captain Achmedi lets out a whoop of, of kind of surprise. He drops his whip and um, in Arabic you hear, They are found! They are found! And this is when Wuhan turns and comes back around to, to pass you two but his guards, oh, would you stop that? Come on. His <laughs> guards come around also to see what's going on. The guy on the truck here gets off and comes over here to make sure he's out of Achmedi's way. This shock troopers, everybody starts to collapse in on this. Um, all of the Jakots that are in the camp, uh, well, everybody that's in the camp pretty much, here's the outcry take place <clears throat> okay 
And now, while this outcry is going on, I need to stop and find out what you all want to do. I'm going to start with Ginger. What is Peaches going to do? Okay. Well, hopefully, hoping that they are all distracted and on the other side of the vehicle, now's my chance to get underneath it or in the driver, in the compartment, and yeah. hunker down in the footwell. You know what I mean? Okay. So you want to get onto the truck or into the truck. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Vehicles are not done yet. So here's what I'm going to do I am going to place you off to the side. Okay. Over way, way, way over there. Okay. Okay, and and uh, let's see. Can I give you permissions to move this? Let's see. Um, transport hovered by anyone. Represented actor. Um, where are you? So peaches. Okay. I am I am hiding in the driver's well, footwell, if possible. Okay. Um, Ginger, here's what I want you to do. We're going to try a little test. Okay. I want you to try and click on that transport and see if you can move it to the right or left. Hold on. It would help if I could actually see it, but where you put me, I can't. Oh. Uh, oh uh, let's see. Hang on. Hang on. Come on, pop open. Oh, I've got it open. Vision. Uh-oh. Here we go. Now I can see it. Oh, okay. She's been banished. Well, that's the thing. She should be able to see it through the truck itself. This uh, token, or whatever it is, uh -huh. uh, is an action which no longer exists within the world. Huh? Oh, Okay, well, I'll have to move it. You'll just have to tell me where it's going, okay? Um, it's not anywhere now. Um, is, this is, a, is this a jacot or is this an overseer right here? Hang on just a second. Okay, uh, that is a jacot. Uh, if you roll your hand over it, it should say jacot adinos. I can't read the fine print here. Uh, zoom in. Oh, that's a jacot adinos, okay? Yeah, that is a jacot and adinos. Anyway, now, these guys get, are shock troops. Can, oh wait, can I get this Adino's attention as I slide into the driver's seat? Sure. How would you do that without getting the attention of all these shock troopers out there? Um, maybe throw a rock at him. A pebble? <laughs> this is gravel, isn't it? Um. Yeah. Okay. Uh, give me a missile weapons test. Um, he's not looking at you, so let's just make it kind of a, make it a standard test. And I'm not trying to do any damage. I'm not oh, no. trying to. No, I know. I'm trying to turn around so I don't even have to aim too well. A standard test of 10? Uh, a test, a standard test of 10. You could even hit the bloody truck. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Roll a d6 for me. Okay, so let's see this. One, two, three. You hit the truck. You hit the inside of the truck, the back gate, which is right here. But you do hit that and... Let me see something. Just for, just for chits and grins. Okay, so... Yeah, I don't want the shock trooper to turn and look. I want the Adinos to turn and look. I understand. <laughs> uh, he didn't hear it. There's too much cheering oh. going on. All right. I'll have to wait. Okay. So you just crawl into the driver's side then? Yeah. And hide. Hunker okay. down. But um, I was hoping that I could convince somebody to throw a punch at this point and turn yeah. it into a melee. Well, uh, you're, you're the first one that I've gotten to in this particular round. I'm going to get to the rest here in just a moment. Um... So, uh, you managed to get all of the gear that you've got into the back, uh, rather rather quietly over the course of this next uh, couple of minutes of action that's going on. Because I'm going to tell you right now, everybody's going to be interested 
uh, in in getting these in taking care of these tiles. Um, now, um, Rios, why don't you, if you would, kind of make a plan uh, through? It'll be done through like hand signals and stuff, and we can take a, a couple of minutes to do this. We're not going to take like twenty or thirty minutes to do this. Probably not even ten minutes, but make a plan and uh and 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 we'll see uh what happens okay mm -hmm. the between you uh artorius and chris do you think it would be possible to maybe pit the the uh the guys who are having an argument earlier against each other like officially start some kind of big brawl internally between the inhabitants of the camp and then swoop up and grab the tiles and run while they're going at it well I, I'm, I'm gonna pour a little bit of cold water on that um, remember what the argument was about Captain Ahmedi wants to take uh, him and his people out of here so he's going to be very joyous about finding those tiles Okay, so getting an argument going might not work. Oop, let me, Wuhan is facing the other direction, thank you. And he's kind of running that way. Um, um, so that that one is pro that that line of reasoning is probably not going to work too well. But using perhaps using that line of reasoning, what else can be done? We could cause a rebellion among the people that they've been forcing to dig for these tiles the whole time. I have a very uh, stupid idea that I say we don't go with. <laughs> I'll just say, you walk into the tent, see what they got, I move to a good position, I set them all on fire. I mean... Burn them with the tiles, so they don't get it, we don't get it. I mean, we don't... Act... I'm not being I mean, certain. I don't, <laughs> it's fine. I don't I see any particular <laughs> reason why we want them, other than... Other than that, for them not to have them, so it's a fair option. Okay. So maybe Plan Z. Oh, <laughs> the uh, other letters. If you, if you set the tent fire and the Jakot revolt, and we back the Jakot up, could Chris conceivably grab up the tiles with his telekinesis? I mean, that's a well, possibility. You, you, from where you're at, you can't see into the tent. The entry to the tent is about right here. Okay, uh, which is why yeah, the guards Burton. have been flanking here and here. Got it. Mm -hmm. I'm it not. Doesn't matter if they were burnt down and open to the sky now, would it? Uh, it uh, okay, that's that's always a possibility. Sure. Fireball ought to do it, right? <laughs> if anybody's you know, got a fireball, fireball amongst friends, right? Well, yeah, what's a well, fireball was, amongst friends? Oh, I was thinking more of an inferno, but I also want to take out the truck. But, you know. You know. Do we still have that one stick of dynamite? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, who's carrying it, though? Uh, Andon. Since it was in Andon's boot to begin with, it sticks with Andon. And I've got the lighter. Throw the dynamite, I throw a fireball, we all run. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, explosion. <laughs> are any of you paying attention in this direction? We're, we're, we're trying to. We can't see it, but... I am. Oh. Well, you have about a five-foot slag pile right here, Ginger. Dang it. Because yep. that would be a great area to throw a punch. <laughs> and let the melee start. Yeah... <laughs> Um, but you know, it also means that there are two uh, tiles that are defended in that narrow passageway there that we won't be able to get our hands on by going into the tent. So we can't. I just to clarify, we can uh, rightfully uh, presume that all the tiles have been found at this point. They've been found, but uh, I mean, there's one in here that you know of that you saw go into the tent in Wu Han's hand. Okay. And then you don't know how many tiles uh, they. He, okay, Achmedi Ak says the rest of the tiles have been found. Uh, Artorius does not understand that. Uh, mm -hmm. Chris, you don't speak Egyptian, do you? I have the Universal Translator. 
Oh, okay. So both I you. I made sure. I made sure to keep it on me. Okay, so then both you and Artorius understand that the rest of the tiles have been found, and and it really doesn't matter in this because he's not a player character. He's an NPC. <laughs> so so I, I think what could be done <laughs> is while the distract, we can at least try to get Connor into the tent to see if we can find that tile, and then maybe uh, using the stick of dynamite actually to try and throw it at that group. If we're able to, maybe the tiles will be destroyed. So we have that one. Then we could try making maybe so maybe try to make a gate getaway. But I am worried about the soldiers that are nearby, uh, Rios and Anden, because mm -hmm. that is going to uh, cut that is going to cut Connor and I off from which the. Which uh, direction is this guy around. facing? Oh, he's he he's facing over here. They're, they're all facing that. They're way, all facing but... in that way to to look. In fact, yeah. everybody is kind of facing in that direction. Is he also seemingly going, moving towards that way? Uh, yes, they are, all three of of uh, Muhan's guards seem to be following him. Okay. So what could possibly be done is, Connor, you go into the tent, try to find the tablet. Yep. Uh, make my way towards a little clearing over here and try to wait for them to kind of get to that area. Then either we do a fireball or we throw the stick of dynamite in that area to try and take out as many as we can along with the tablets. And then we try to make our getaway towards the transport. If nothing else, hopefully there will only be at least one or two people in our way. Mm -hmm. And with my spells, I can cover our six with some of the spells that I have. So as some of the enemies run up, I can try to block their path. I know it's not a perfect plan, but it's the one that I was thinking of for a moment. Okay. Any other ideas, anyone? Might I suggest uh, uh, Connor can throw a distracting... Uh, can trip or punch a uh, stormtrooper with it or shock trooper with his mind. I feel like go, me, uh, at least someone, I say me because I also have like after I go in here and get whatever tablet or whatever, I can light it up with fire and start making a run for it. I think that'd be a good destroy suspicion. any kind of records that they've like copied off of the tablet just in case. That would be good. Okay. Now, who's going to take notes for next week because it's 9 9:17 my time. All right. I'm just the getaway driver. I'm going to make a <laughs> quick I'm going to make a quick uh, check to make sure that the shock trooper that was hanging around in, on the car didn't take out anything important like the spark plugs or disconnect the battery or anything like that. <laughs> uh, but the car starts. And when, if there is a sufficient distraction, I will try starting the car. Okay, this hood. Okay, now this is, this is one of those side opening hoods. Okay, so this side opens and this side opens. This side over here is open. And it seems to be braced. So uh -oh. it is definitely something that will, oh, pardon me, will disallow you to see half of your road, okay? Because it's standing up there pretty well. Yeah, but hopefully my company will arrive soon. Um, yes, we're hoping. Um, now, I'm going to say this. This is the end of scene two. Next week we will begin scene three. Would you guys like to go ahead and and close out scene two properly? Sure. Yeah, okay. Do that. Now and I took some notes of the plan that we have in mind on my phone, so we have it for next time. Yeah, yeah. Feel free to mark down as much as you want. Uh, I have this on a recording, so I will be listening to it again uh, before the game next week because uh, I can cheat like that. Um, so, ending a scene. Um, there are no cards and pools because we haven't had any action rounds, so we're not going to worry about that. Uh, Nobody drew any new cards uh, for an action scene for for uh, any cards and pools or anything like that. Uh, so we're not going to worry about that. Um, anybody that has less than four cards, draw up to your fourth card. 
did anybody have to draw up to four cards? I th I think Rios did. Yep. Uh, oh hey, nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I that's it. Uh, what was that, Ginger? I said, dang, I wish I'd had that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, now, each of you may select a card you don't like, just one, and discard it to exchange for another one if you would like. Okay. Just, just discard it. Yeah, discard it and, and, uh, and grab a new one if you, uh, if you don't like one card. Scene that's three, really the cool ruckus card, begins. But, that's a really cool card, but I don't think I'll ever end up using this one. But it looks so freaking cool. Well, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Read it real quick. Uh, it, well, it, it's, it, it's the glory card, so I can play it after a 60-plus yes. roll to refill all the ores in its own possible, possibility energy. Okay. Question number one. Does that's what I'm thinking about. I'm hanging on to it, but, you know. Oh, you're going to hang on to it? Okay. That's that's what I'm thinking about, so, you know. I was yeah. just looking at it like, uh, don't want to get rid of it? Nah, probably not, just in case. I, I was, I was going to say there are two criteria that you need to look at. One, does anybody else in the group have a glory card? Two, um, a glory card can come about at the absolute oddest time, okay? Um, true. Ginger and Chris have been through all I think it's six or seven glories that have happened in our game and they're all documented on on uh, in their uh, records okay so yeah, it's a shame I didn't glory when I jumped into the Hudson River that time yeah well why you came close you <laughs> did come very close okay so scene two is officially over scene three begins immediately when we begin our next game session. That's where we're going to leave off for the night. Anybody got any questions? Uh, just to confirm, all of the tiles have now been found, correct? Uh, Achmedi that's what, says... That's what they're saying. Yeah, Achmedi said that all tiles... Oh, and for yeah. the sake of Andon, since you went, aw, when I said he was just an NPC, you're more than free to turn to him and say they found him. Okay. Or, or something okay, like good. that. Good. Yeah. Yeah, they have all the tiles over there except for the one that's in the tent. Mm -hmm. Or possibly yeah, yeah. more, but the, but there's a, at least a decent amount of tiles over where the group is right now. I, I, I am going to preface this coming Sunday's play. I never thought that my players would be in such an awesome and such an absolutely dangerous position. <laughs> okay. What can I say? I like to. Uh, I don't know. I lost. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> okay, MacGyver. Um, it, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> like, what can I say? Because what can I? I say? don't know what to say. I forget. Damn it. Now, uh, Peaches, that note will be there next weekend. I don't delete any notes. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. Whose willpower is that? I'm sorry. That's mine. Oh. Um, this is what I want to, I want to show, where's show? Survival of the fittest? Show to all players, survival of the fittest. Okay, play on the first round of a combat. All allies ignore wound penalties when making skill or attribute totals. All allies mm. ignore wound penalties when making, play on the first round of uh, combat. Does that mean, I, I'm going to ask about that card. Um sure. So, because uh, it's vague, it would, it would include the Jakot, who are, I, I hope will back us up um, in this riot in in order to get away uh, um, as allies, as well as other players. My my allies, of course, are the other players. Yeah. Okay. Survival. So we get wounded, or if we uh, uh, we we get to ignore a wound, any wound pen penalty. Yeah. Um, that card is vague. This is the first time I've ever encountered it in all the years that I've been playing. So, ooh, man. It, 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 it could conceivably help us and our allies, the Jakot. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, I, Ginger, I will try and have those notes. And good evening, Possibility War fans. It is November 13th, 2022. We are almost at the end. And if we play our cards next Sunday, we're going to see if we're going to 
see how the game goes. And, uh, and, and I have a feeling this is going to be very Indiana Jones-ish uh, as far as movement and stuff goes. Of course, it's a role-playing game, so it's going to be a lot slower. So sit down, buckle in, and get your popcorn because I think this is, is, is going to... I think this is going to be a pretty awesome night. Okay, so we're still in Act 3, A Day on the Farm. And we are just starting scene three, Samurai Assault. Scene two is over. They've found the tiles. And now our players have to figure out what their Storm Knights are going to do to get all of the tiles and then run. Okay? The reason that they need the tiles for, for this map is the fifth tile is a translating tile for the map and for the poem, which which is how you use the map. And then... The, the other four tiles are the map itself, and I still haven't figured out quite how to represent the map uh, particularly. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I have a question. Is this car clearly avail uh, running? No. Or available to run? N none of the vehicles are running yet. Ginger has not made a, a, a land vehicles test to start it. It is a military vehicle from the late 30s and definitely has a, a decidedly... Uh, uh, yeah, I know what I'm trying to say. Has a decidedly different way of starting the vehicle. Uh, yeah, anything like modern carryover uh, fire engines of today? Nope. Nope, not at all. Uh oh, I can't find, I can't find my cards. I was going to try and drag out a particular card uh, toward eternity. Oh man, you mean the gall darn thing's a tank. It is, as a matter of fact. Um, it has, uh, it is a tracked vehicle with wheels to, to guide it. Their survival of the fittest. You ignore wound penalties for the remainder of this battle. So here's what the deal is. Normally, if you take a wound, you get a minus one to everything. Uh, if you take a second wound, it's minus two. Uh, anywhere from three wounds and up, uh, you ignore. You 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 it, you don't ignore. You just get the minus two, the penalty of two. Okay. Now, the question I have for you. Peaches is do you want to play your card? Yeah, when we get into combat, let's do it. Okay, then I'm going to leave that card there for right now. Those of you with situational awareness, remember to do that uh, uh, when the oh, combat yeah. starts. Um, now, well, you can do that any time, but it can only do that once per combat. Well, uh, you can't do it at all until I start the combat. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. So this uh, this might be a very, very, very tough combat to deal with because I've got to load up a lot of bad guys. Okay. Um, so it, it's going to take a few minutes to get that done, especially when I, I start you off the way that, uh, <laughs> the way that this scene starts off. Okay. Um, so do all of you have at least four cards in your hand? Plus your Cosm card. Yes. Okay, unless you've already played your Cosm card. Yes. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so that part's ready to go. Oh, <laughs> that's what I'm missing. Do any of you have any cards at all? And this is generally only going to apply to Cosm cards that need to either come out on the table right away or that can be exchanged for a possibility and a card if you don't want them. I don't think so. Okay, so that's Chris. Mine's the one that began all the shenanigans. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, which one was that again? Are you talking about survival of the fittest, or you talk? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because if you uh, have another so, one, hmm, go ahead. So I have one card that says play to draw a Cosm card. Does that mean I can possess two Cosm cards? Yes. Or does that mean that once I use my Cosm card, I can just get a new one? Um. That no. That well, you know, either or. Either or. Um, if it just says play to gain a new Cosm card, you can lay that out literally at any time. Okay. May I do that now, please? Yes. Go ahead. Uh, just play that card and uh, and uh, and go ahead and draw your second Cosm card. Okay. 
So my first Cosm card is from the Nile Empire. Do I draw a second Nile Empire or Living Land? Go ahead and go with Living Land because, like I said, we are about to to get out of the Nile Empire. Okay. Um, gotcha. Rios, do you have any cards that you need to play right now? Besides the one that you just played. I think I'm good now. Okay, and then Artorius. So I did have a question about one card, a reality surge. Does that be in the middle of combat, or can that be before? Um, what does the card say in specific? Uh, it just says when played, the characters' axioms and world laws are in effect for them. That's yeah, that, that, it doesn't say specifically one. Right, that can be played any time that you want to play it. Okay, so can I go ahead and play it now, or does it have to be in my pool first? Um, we haven't started combat yet. Um. Let me hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, so should I just, should I just probably wait until like my turn in combat just to use it? Probably be better. Well, that way, huh? I I allowed Ginger to go ahead and play Survival of the Fittest. Uh, actually, Can you let me go ahead and play my new Cosm card card. You know what? Let's go ahead and consider that combat has begun. Okay. So go ahead if you want and play that. Uh, which which card is that? That's number fifty nine. Yes, from sir. from which? Okay, that's gonna be a destiny card, Paul. Yeah, yes. Okay, so let me find that one real quick. This should be uh, easier you're... to do. Uh, there we go. Found all those cards. That's Cosms, though. I want into destiny cards, and it's gonna be number fifty nine, dude. 60, 59. Okay, so I'm going to drag this one out. Okay. And I need a good place to put it. <laughs> uh, where... Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I'm going to put that card in the, toward the lower right area. Uh, and I'm going to size it down. Like I did. Okay, not quite so wide. There we go. Okay, matter of fact... Uh, I'm going to put both of those cards uh, down there. Oof. Yeah, that's I can size that one up just a little bit. And then size this one down just a little bit. Okay. All right. Can, can you guys read those okay in the lower right-hand corner? Oh. Of the map? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can okay. read them. Okay. Hold on. Uh, I'm trying to zoom out, but it ain't letting me. Yeah, uh, yeah. There's only so far that you can zoom out. Um, if you zoom out all the way, you should be able to right-click and drag the map around for yourself, and then you can see the cards and just kind of scroll back in. Hey, I did those just about right. Maybe I could do it half at a time. Let's see what we've got. Okay. Now let's get on here. And all right, that's those. Okay, now this combat is supposed to be messy. Okay, uh, okay. I may not necessarily play absolutely everything. Okay, let's remove those. Okay, and add those to the combat. Okay, now let's sort these out when we get the card. Now, oh, I can't forget to add them because they're the most important. Well, not the most important. You guys are the most important. Yeah, yeah. Aww. Gorgeous. <laughs> it's nice to say, even if you don't really mean that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now I can kind of move that. Now, this may take a little while to to kind of get started. I got to break this out. There we go. And I uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to leave it right there and extend. Oh, I can't extend it all the way. Now, okay, and begin combat. All right. Oh, I should go ahead and probably play my really like search card card then. <laughs> Put out what? Oh, whoops. Never mind. Oh yeah, um, if you guys have uh, cards um, uh, uh, for situational awareness, go ahead and put them into your pool, please. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay, so oh, no situational awareness. 
Okay. Uh, I have a quick question. Yep, bring it on. Uh, do you have to have your costume card in your hand to play it? No, and you do not. Okay, and to when do you, does a roll for defeat happen? Okay, a roll for defeat happens when you uh, or somebody that the card can affect has to roll for defeat. Now that doesn't happen until you're you reach your la you reach your fourth uh, wound. So you can take three wounds. You can take lightly wounded, moderately wounded, heavily wounded, and then your fourth one uh, just says test for defeat. Okay, so that Cosm card can be used when you need to test for defeat. Make sense? Okay. If you guys are looking at the combat tracker at all, you're going to see three colors. Blue, red, and gold. Uh, the red are the bad guys. The gold are uh, innocent bystanders or, or people that just need to be moved or whatever. Um, and then the blue, of course, is you. Now, this is a dramatic situation, a dramatic scene. Okay, so things are going to run slower and they're going to be more against you than for you because it is a dramatic scene. The reason it's a Wait, dramatic gray scene. Samurai too? <laughs> the reason that the scene <laughs> <laughs> uh, the reason that this scene is dramatic is uh, three reasons. One, uh, the insidious Wuhan. Let me say that again. The insidious Wuhan. Uh, <laughs> Captain Achmedi <laughs> are out on the field, and both of those cause dramatic scenes. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. dramatic enemies can cause dramatic scenes. The third thing is, you all of the tiles were just found, and you need to get them. And in this in this moment, um, the stress level goes right through the roof. Now. Do any of you remember the scene from the first Indiana Jones movie where they get to that really funky, funky flying wing? And there's all kinds of trucks all over the place and troopers and everything like that. And Marion and and uh, Indy need to, to uh, get to the plane because they believe that the plane is going to fly out with the... Uh, um, uh, with the artifact, which name I can't remember right now. Um, the Ark of the Covenant? The, Covenant, the Ark of the Covenant. Thank you. Yes, that's it. I mean, right who there. doesn't remember that scene? It's such an iconic scene. Yes, I know. It's it's wonderful. Um, Great movie. So anyway... It's the 100 to 1 rule. Huh? <laughs> it's the classic 100 to 1 rule. Yes, exactly. Um, but you're not I'd necessarily... Say that's to me. Huh? I'd say, I'd, say, I'd say a thousand to one, but that's just me. Well, there, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot of bad guys on here, a lot more than you guys. Uh, oh, yeah. There's, there's a lot of innocence on here, um, and I am going to be moving them one at a time because there is a particular purpose for it. Okay, if, if there wasn't a particular purpose for it, I, I would uh, just grab like groups of them, and I may still, uh, but you know they. There, there, there's a, a lot of people. I don't think I'm going to move the people in the slave pits except away. And as I do, I'll eliminate them, and that'll cut things down as I'm going along. Okay. Uh, well, I imagine some of them... We might have some allies in the bunch. Um, you may. Possibly. You may. Um, okay. Um, so movement is going to kind of go first... Uh, and and then other actions, okay? So be thinking of the actions that you want to do because it's going to be a little while before I get to you, okay? Um, so, the name of the card is That's Just Great. If we were in a dramatic skill resolution, there would be a critical problem uh, where you guys would have to roll, and if you failed that roll, you would probably go back to the beginning of the dramatic skill resolution, even if you were on step C. Um Roll okay. Roll an extra obstacle. See the Nile Empire source book to add to the scene. We have enough obstacles, um, uh, but the obstacle. Please no sphinx. Please no sphinx. Please no sphinx. No, no, no nasty sphinx. Um, <laughs> um, Ginger, here's the obstacle for the scene. You're trying to start up the truck and are mm -hmm. not able to start it this round. You cannot roll to start it this round. Okay. Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! 
Dang it. Doggone it. Okay. Uh, what, let's see. I, I dropped the keys that were there, conveniently handy. There are no keys. Uh huh? There are no keys to this vehicle. Oh, so mm. it, it, it's, it's a push like, start. <laughs> it's something more along the lines of find the crank or the, the knob that starts it up. Ta da! Okay, and it, again, it's going to take a little bit. Uh, the, the roll for that is going to be kind of high, I think. Um, okay, uh, anyway, it is a dramatic round. Uh, villains go first, heroes are set back. And we're, the setback is going to come as a part of your actions, not a part of your movement. Uh, I don't want you guys to move just yet, okay? Uh,